In Saskatoon Saturday, thousands attended the concert of country music star Eric Church. And though everyone had to show proof of vaccination in the midst of a punishing fourth wave, the crowded venue images provoked concern. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a, uh, multiple outbreaks you know, happening that is, you know, that is associated with that uh, concert uh, last night. Saskatchewan has had no gathering or capacity limits in place since the summer, something many in the medical community have been pushing to change as the province now sends critically ill patients to Ontario. It's a stark contrast to the situation elsewhere in Ontario and B.C., where many public health measures have remained in place well into fall. This week, venues in Metro Vancouver and on Vancouver Island will finally return to full capacity. In terms of the larger venues, we were the holdouts with respect to the rest of Canada. So it would have required a very significant and convincing explanation to not to do it. So in that context, I think uh, it is uh, the right step at this time. Ontario is also lifting business capacity restrictions this week. That's not unreasonable with a huge caveat that if we start to see things headed in the wrong direction, you've got to scale things back a little bit. Ontario is now looking towards the end of all restrictions, easing vaccine passport requirements beginning in January. A change Alberta's open for summer premier is not rushing towards. We think the program's working well. It will be in place at least until the first quarter of next year. We'll assess it then um, based on uh, COVID trends here and around the world. When it comes to this pandemic, no two jurisdictions have handled things the same way. But after a disastrous autumn across much of the West, Canada's winter months will undoubtedly demand some caution. Heather Yurex West, Global News, Calgary.